Today in this video, we're going to teach you guys on how to play GameCube games and Wii games on your PC. Now to be able to pull that off, you are going to want to download and install a program called Dolphin Emulator. Now to be on the current version of Dolphin, Dolphin now only supports 64-bit versions of Windows. Now in 2022, this isn't a huge ask because most computers are 64-bit. But if you're not sure what your operating system is, definitely follow this video here to have that answer. Now if you have determined that you are on a 32-bit version, migrate down to the bottom here and simply download the 32-bit. 32-bit is x86, so download that version if needed. Now, if you want to be on the most current version, you're going to want to migrate back up to the top, and you're going to want to download the beta version. Now, the website does state that you want to make sure that Visual C++ Kit is installed, but in a lot of situations, I've noticed that you actually don't need to have this. Now, if you do run into a black screen while using Dolphin, this is most likely going to be the culprit. We'll show you how to install this later in the video because I do find it still important. Now, to be able to get Dolphin onto your computer, take this file and simply put it into your document folder. I'll simply just cancel this because I actually have it already there. And you may notice that there is two Dolphin folders. Now, the reason why there is two Dolphin folders is because when you go to launch Dolphin for the first time, it does create a second filing system, which is the second folder that we saw. Now, within the second folder, what that's meant to do is save the Dolphin settings. If you decide to add HD graphics to Super Mario Sunshine or Luigi's Mansion, those are the places you're going to want to do it. Now, to be able to install C++, migrate to this Microsoft website and simply hit the download link here. We'll open up the file and you may notice that when you go to install this, is that this takes an incredible amount of time to install. So simply let it do its thing and let your computer restart. Now, for the settings on your computer system, what you need to configure is your graphics and your controllers. Now, we're not going to be going into too many details on these things because we already have a video that already accomplishes that. Now, for the things that you're going to want to do is to go into the graphics tab and you're going to want to change a couple of settings. Now, depending on what graphics brand you're on, this is where things are going to be different from you to me. If you're running on NVIDIA, NVIDIA is always said to work better with the Direct3D engine, so that's why I have mine on Direct3D 12. Now, 12 is technically experimental, just like Vulkan. Now, if you're running on AMD, AMD is always said to work better with OpenGL. So if you're on that platform, you may want to try OpenGL. Again, you can try either or. It's not going to usually break games as far as I've seen, but you usually want to play the games at the best performance possible. So again, play with these settings depending on what they exactly uh, do to your games. Also, you could have full screen on, and that's really all you need to do for that tab. Now for enhancements, you want to set this particular internal resolution to whatever your graphics card can handle. Now for my system that has a 1080 Ti, 5K is not a problem for it. Now what I've seen a problem from is trying to enable the widescreen hack. If you try to enable this, it may work with some games, but there's a possibility that it can break games. You're better off to use AR codes or Gecko codes to be able to get to widescreen because AR and Gecko codes are technically a patch. Again, recommend that way. I've seen games like Super Mario Sunshine, uh, Luigi's Mansion simply get broke by doing this mod. You're better off to follow these videos if you want widescreen. Anyway, folks, for controllers, you may notice that mine does say GameCube adapter. I have a video already on how to do this, but if you don't have a GameCube adapter, simply put this to standard controller, hit configuration, go to the controller that, uh, that corresponds, hit the refresh to make sure that it is mapping correctly, and just map all the buttons to the controller that you would like a GameCube controller to be set up as. Now, if you don't have a real Wii remote, we're going to go to simulate it. And when you're in this screen, make sure that the device is, is connected as a keyboard and mouse. And we're just going to end up putting these buttons to a keyboard. And for motion, it's already mapping correctly, so we don't need to do anything there. That's pretty much all the things that you need to do to be able to get Dolphin Emulator running on your PC. Now, the two questions that I'm going to be getting asked down in the comment box below how do I get free games and how do I add them into Dolphin like you have here? Now, if you want free games, simply follow the videos. They should be popping up at the top of your guys' screen. One should have popped up for Wii. One should have popped up for GameCube. 
That's how you get games for free. Now to add them into Dolphin, I have another video on that shows you guys on how to do that as well. So follow that if you guys want to add games directly into Dolphin. Anyway folks, if you guys found the video helpful, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hey, if this video worked for you and you want to say hi, also down in the comment box is a great way to do that.